during some downtime. Principal Anthony Orr acknowledges there was an incident at Monday's football camp that resulted in the suspension of five players, a group that includes sophomores, juniors, and seniors. There were some kids in the weight room and uh, started horsing around and ultimately it, it rose to a hazing situation with some upperclassmen directed at some freshmen. Or says one student was hurt. Well, fortunately, uh, the one student that did have an injury uh, is fine. But a parent who contacted ABC 36 News by email gives a different version of events and says his child was taken to the hospital. Brian Jones says his 14-year-old son was beaten, punched, and struck with a weighted medicine ball, resulted in him losing consciousness and suffering a concussion. Jones says the boy also suffered memory loss. I asked Principal Orr specifically about this injury. Is this the student that had the, the concussion, or is there something different? Uh, no, that's, I, I don't know of anything different than that. Because okay. I had a parent who said that their student was punched and had a concussion. Okay. So, yeah, and that's, uh, I don't know if we're... We're okay. still looking in to make sure we've got it all. Jones' email goes on to say two other freshmen were also beaten, one suffering a black eye, and that the boys were lured by the upperclassmen into a darkened weight room and then attacked. Or did say rules against hazing are covered in the district's and school's code of conduct. The bottom line is we're going to protect kids' safety, period. And we had a situation happen on our campus where student safety was compromised. And so we have taken that very seriously.